Here's a common scenario. The difference between B1 and B2, the B, B vitamins. B1 is thymine and B2 is riboflavin. And uh, B1 tonifies the body and B2 uh, relaxes the body. So B2 is a good uh, calmer, relaxer. B1 is a good stimulant, tonifier. And the shortcut for individual B vitamins is to press one finger on the tongue to see if your indicator muscle goes weak or not. Now, but that doesn't tell you, does that mean B1 or B2? It doesn't tell you that. It just says, it just says they need an individual B as opposed to a B complex. So let me give you some symptoms. <clears throat> the B1 deficiency, those people will, uh, the cardinal thing that happens to those people is if they wake up at night, they have trouble going back to sleep. They wake up tonight, they have trouble going back to sleep. They didn't have trouble going to sleep when they first got in bed, but during the night they wake up, now they have trouble going back to sleep. That's a sign of B1 deficiency. Another symptom is they have back pain at night. Back pain at night. And a third symptom of B1 deficiency is they have to get up to urinate. Now, obviously, there's other reasons other than just B1 deficiency for having to get up at night to urinate. You drink a gallon of water before you went to bed. You have a enlarged prostate. Those are other reasons. So it, I'm not saying it's the only reason that you have to get up tonight to urinate. So those are symptoms of B1 deficiency. Okay, now let's go to B2. B2, those people, when they... When they go to sleep, um, the body will jerk. And um, the, the body will jerk so hard that they think someone kicked them. They, they think, and they, it, the, the body jerks, it wakes them up. They look around to see who kicked them or who kicked the bed, and there's nobody there. The other sign for B2 is when you put your head on the pillow, you hear your heart beat with the ear on the pillow. You hear your heart beat. You don't normally hear your heart beat. And the fact you put your head on the pillow and you hear your heart beat through the pillow, it's, it's distracting. It's annoying. It makes it difficult to go to sleep. So that's the symptom of B2 deficiency. So we gave you three symptoms for B1. We gave you, we gave you two symptoms for B2. You got that? He's asking, is the restless legs a B2 deficiency? And the answer is no. We're going to cover restless legs tomorrow. So that there's a separate treatment for that. But... Uh, you particularly find this in people who are overworked and they go to bed dead tired and, and sometimes they're so tired, even though they're dead tired, they have trouble going to sleep. And when they finally do go to sleep, then the tense body relaxes. And when the body relaxes, the muscle jumps. The muscle jumps as the muscles are relaxing and it wakes them up. That, that's the B2 part. So I gave you all those symptoms. Anybody have any of those symptoms? That we could try the B1 and B2 on you. So if you wake up in the night and you have to urinate, if that happens once a night only, we don't call that abnormal. But if it happens more than once a night, then we call it abnormal. Okay, now, she's not locked. Touch your tongue. Okay, so if you touch the tongue and it makes the muscle go weak, that's the indicator that you need an individual B as opposed to a B complex. Okay, so um, we're, we're, we're going to ask the body, is it this one? 
touch your tongue. She said, no, it's not that one. Okay, is it this one? Touch your tongue. And it's that one. And this is B1. So, since you got you, since we got you here, and then tell us tomorrow if you slept better tonight. I will. Oh, let's let's show them that that tongue thing's gone. Oh, T touch your tongue. Just for teaching purposes, I'm going to show you the before and after. In my office, we try to always do a before and after. Always. Not because they're a new patient, but just the tremendous psychological reinforcement that that makes on the patient. That you can show them the before and after test. That, that what we did, did something, accomplished something. I, I've been doing this a long time. Um, I love my job. I love my job because most patients get well. You notice I didn't say 100% of the patients get well. I said most patients get well. I love my job. And uh, I get lots of kudos. The biggest kudo that I enjoy hearing is when the patient says to me, I never had so much accomplished in one office visit previously. That's the, that's the one I like to hear. Because I can... I know the shortcuts, and I can check so many things in one office visit. I can cover so many bases with these shortcuts that, that I could not do. And I got started doing this because as I was teaching classes in Phoenix, the doctors that were new to AK, it was overwhelming. There was so much information, it was overwhelming. Learn how to test 42 muscles bilaterally. Uh, learn the sedate points and tonification points uh, <clears throat> for every muscle. The origin and insertion for every muscle. Where's the neurovascular? Where's the neurolymphatic? It's just overwhelming, all that information. And they would, they would get discouraged or they say, well, I don't have time to do that. I don't have time to do that. And they have to get a, go get a book out and look up where those points are. So one of the things I taught them is, well, take the chart and put it on the wall. And now you don't have to go get the book. You can just glance up on the wall and see where the point is. You know. so, that's, so that's how we got started doing shortcuts. So now we're turning that into an entire seminar. Two full days we're going to talk about shortcuts. And hopefully you're going to find the application <clears throat> to take this home and use it Monday morning. But remember my morning this, this morning. Don't try to go home and do this only. <laughs> Just add it to what you're already doing. You're, you're already successful, otherwise you wouldn't be here. <laughs>